please go to our Facebook page and like us, and also to our YouTube page and subscribe. Today, the tide that we're looking at is a negative low tide at about 8.30 in the morning, and then it comes up to a high tide at about 3.26 in the afternoon. There's a fishing forecast of 4, and it's a full moon. So I know the morning is going to be a little bit of a tough bite, but by mid-afternoon we should be having a very good bite. Winter forecast for Saturday the 6th. We have a major feeding time from 1224 to 224 in the afternoon. This was a good salooner time for us where we caught a lot of fish in that time frame. We have here, Chad. It's taking a long, long run. Still taking another run. Quit looking at the camera. I'm, not, I'm looking around here. <laughs> so I was contemplating putting new line on. Well, whatever this is has got some. <laughs> it's got some butt to him. He hooked all, He hooked this fish and went on a straight run. It's not acting like a jack. It's, I don't think it's a jack because it's not thumping. It's not thumping. Oh. It's not quite it? Is it another bluefish? I had hooked a big bluefish earlier and... It's a snook. No, it's a snook. Nice snook, too. Not bad, my friend. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now don't take this from the next one. Oh my god, you got him on the first swipe. Is that a slot fish? Yeah. Yeah. Holy man. Nice. As, as Chad was releasing him, he let him go and the fish swam right into the hook again. <laughs> That's a sign. <laughs> He's like, let me the hell go. <laughs> That was too funny. <laughs> He's ready. Go away from the hook this time. What you got there, Chuck? Putting some bump on it. Could be a redfish. No, snow. Not bad at all. First fish in the morning for you. Not bad. Well, everybody, we decided today we uh, we didn't want to go back to the area that we know that was poached because it would be almost useless to go back there. Uh, so. Kind of Chad and I talked about it a little bit, but Chad doesn't like to give his two cents usually, but today he actually did. And uh, we decided to hit this new area that I found on Google Earth, using Google Earth. Um, we come back to this area. What's nice about it is, it's, as you can see, the, you can see the bank right now. The tide is going negative until about 8.30 uh, this morning. And then we have an incoming tide till about 3.15, 3.20, I think it is, and then it kind of really goes kind of dead after that but uh, we're gonna maybe do some snapper fishing then but we came back to this area it is absolutely loaded with mullet which we like to see and it's got deep water it's got bait in here small uh, anchovies glass minnows whatever you want to call them so we knew that there's fish back here when we came back here we saw that we knew we set up in one spot we had some fish get busted or get some uh, chummers get busted, but we didn't get any hits. So we moved to an area, have a little island in front of us that has some oysters on it. And, it, and there's a flat to the right of it. It kind of flattens out, but out where we're sitting is about nine feet of water. 
So these fish have deep water, so when it gets cold, they just slide down into the deeper water. We've already caught two snook out of here. One was a 30 inch, and then you saw the one that Chuck just caught. So there's quite a bit of fish in this area, and I think we had the full moon last night, which of course I hate, but I think as the day progresses, it's it, the, the fishing's gonna get better. Chuck's on. That was on Chuck. Ooh, not a bad snuff. Here we go. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Yeah, he's not bad. Oh, son of a biscuity. Chuck Master, I'm gonna cowboy your spot. <laughs> oh, doubled up. Both of them are snook. Now we got, we got Chad up front trying to get into the action. Well, you keep belly hooking your baits and Good luck with that. Not bad, Chuck. Mine's bigger. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. I think this is a redfish. Fighting like we have, it is. Yeah, not bad. Now all I need is my trap. I went out for Christmas and bought myself a new present. I bought a Quantum Boca BSP 30 PTS. I used to have one of these reels. I had it for like seven years. I beat the crap out of it and it still was perfect. It finally died on me and then I was using a Crowder 7 foot 6 rod, the E-Series, but then I went out and bought this Salute. It's an 8 foot rod and I'm absolutely loving it. I can cast even further than what I was able to before. I lined it with 6 pound braid that I actually buy from eBay from China. I can get it about 1100 yards for 36 bucks including shipping. I think he's got a nice redfish. Certainly feels like a bulldog. My buddy Chuck, who's fishing back here, just got his inshore slam. I didn't catch it on camera, but I told him I would get the next one. That's a manatee, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> Do you see him wallow? Yeah. Ooh. Nice red fish. There yeah, it is. Am I fly fishing or <laughs> I'm only allowed to film 15 minutes on YouTube and this alone is gonna take that long. <laughs> you don't wanna go in. <laughs> Oh, 
He's not even over slot. What is it? It's a redfish. He's just putting it to you. <laughs> He's not giving up. Can you say handsy? Not really. <laughs> I can say fish. Oh yeah. Take a picture of that one. if they're still flopping. He may be close to overslot. Beautiful red. I'm going to have to take a picture of that one. Oh my god, he got it in the first try. <laughs> that one's, yeah, that one's, that one's well over. Chuck's got another trout, folks. That makes, I'm, I'm, I'm getting this one on film so he he, he won't whine. See? Does he want to hold There's trout a trout. Yeah. <laughs> well, how big how big was he? Ooh, he's a, he's like He's probably right at 50. He's over. Let him go. Okay. Chad has caught the biggest snook and the biggest red today and then then he had to go and snag his trout for his inshore slam. There it is. <laughs> Chuck, how's it feel to have big red on? <laughs> Chuck's got a nice red on. Very nice red. Maybe that's a picture worthy red. I'm gonna make you famous on YouTube, Chuck. Cool. <laughs> there you go. Nice, Chuck. Very good. <laughs> 